Good morning and welcome back to the Empty Angler. Um, we're on the boat today and Dean's with us and we are going bream in today, or we're going to try. Um, we're just drifting over the mark now. I'm going to get ready to set the anchor today. Um, and we're gonna, gonna have a go for some bream, uh, maybe a few rays, whatever else comes about. But never fished this mark, so just having a drift over it first just to see what's what and the uh, angle. It's quite calm at the minute. I do give a little bit of wind later, nothing drastic, um, but enough to maybe make it uncomfortable. What's oh, a bite? Oh, got a bite straight away there. Nice bite that was, really, really lunge. Oh, yeah, and again, and again, we're getting, this is that's a bream bite as well. Feel it. Oh, I can't knock them. It's a bream bite. That's a good sign. Bream are really, really tappy. A really fast, fast, furious tappy bites. Let's see what they see what they want. Yeah, I'd say. Fish on. There you go. Well fish on. First drop. And it's really noddy. Hopefully, it's a target species. Well. Hopefully, it's a target species. Only using the light gear, the, the Helios rods here. I'll show you the rigs in a second, didn't even get time, it's his first drop and it'll be lovely if we can do target species on the first drop and it's come out, I see some silver I see two silver and this is a double shot of the target species straight off the bat well done. and there we go, look at that boom, that is target there we go, two black bream and Dean's in as well, first drop and we're on the mark Boom! Happy days. I'll let you film. Let's see what Dean gets. Oh, Dean's got the down. I'll get these unhooked and I'll come back to you in a second. Good start. There we go. First drop. We haven't even put the anchor in yet. We just did a little drift to see where the mark was, just to get a feel for what way the tide was going, like you would do when you wreck in, same as on a reef. And straight away, double shot at a target species, black bream. This one is actually a female. Um, they normally sit in pairs. They are very spiky. Don't get done by them. And I'll just show Dean the differences. This one here, you have to look at the heads. This one here is nice and silver on top, like a normal bream. And then if I show you the other one, I can try and do it without falling over. Now this one is a male. Now the coloration is slightly different. You can see, oh, them spikes are like needles. You can see on the head, he's actually got a little bit of blue in him. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but he's actually got a very like nice colorations on top of his head. Um, and they do get a lot bigger than this, they do go four, five, six pound in some cases. We've had them to four pound before, but not yet. But um, yeah, not a bad start. Well, we're back ranking up and we're straight in. Dino's got some and I've got some here. And it is going to be bream crazy here today, guys. It's going to be a good session today. Good and Dean has got a lovely male black bream. And I've got white as well. Oh, that's nice. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, here we go. This is what we come for. This is what we come for. Look at that, the bucket. Lovely, straight away on the anchor. No one else here. Bream. That's number four on the session. Two, two drops for bream. And I've got another nice male. Yeah, look at that. That is a lovely fish. There we go. We'll get ours on hooks and we'll both come and show you. And these are lovely male fish, these ones. I'll talk about the rigs in a second as well. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They are lovely, lovely fish. Me teeth. and Dean will both come to the camera and show you. And Dean's going to drop his on the floor. Yeah, look, it's still got my little bit of cuttle in its mouth. Look at that, eh? Oh, I've done the same thing. Come on, Dean, get hold of it. Try. <laughs> He'll be with you in a minute, guys, don't worry. But <laughs> at the end of the session, we'll get a double photo. Look at that. Happy days! We'll put these in a bucket and we'll get some nice photos in a second. Oh, it's, it's quite snug. Not... Let's put them in the bucket, it's yeah. all right. Yeah, not, not the key, just to, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, just to revive. Right, let's talk about the rigs. Dino can carry on fishing for a second. And I'll show you what rigs we've got. Slightly different. I'll get them out of here. Right. All this is, is a little two ounce bomb on the bottom with a little Cox and Rule Gemini quick link. And then all I've done is made two little dropper rigs, two little dropper lines on the uh, on my main trace. It's just 30 pound trace. And then, yeah, two dropper loops ending in a 2-0 Cox and Rule crab hook. <coughs> and that is razor, razor sharp there. And all we're doing is just tipping that with bits of squid, bits of lug, 
um, ragworm, and I'm gonna put a bait down for a ray in a bit if I get five minutes, but I'm gonna try and hammer these bream for a second while we can, and we'll go from there. It is crazy here. A savage bite a second ago, and I, <laughs> I'm going to put a conga rig down, big heavy weight, just to try and tempt out some eels as well while I'm here. Yeah, there is rough ground, there is eels on it. This is a jumbo, it's a jumbo pout, this one. <laughs> See marks on the sounder though, plenty of stuff on the sounder. Nice big granddad pout though, another species. Dino up on a second ago as well. Some raw crab so razor sharp. So the bloody fins and everything. Absolutely razor sharp. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's like summer, a bit of life in there. Yeah, it's nice. All I'm doing is just um taking, I've cut some little bits of cuttle up, squid works well as well, but I had some cuttle in the freezer from my previous trip. Tiny little strips, and then I'm just hooking it once through the uh the thick part of the, the tail and then that's it. If you're doing this sort of fishing, it could be hard to take break for things like water and tea and food and stuff. So we'll schedule some of that in today, and we'll see how we're getting on. Wind farm, <laughs> great. Stay with me. Bites can often come straight away as soon as you're at the bottom when they're here. They're often almost instant. Oh. Look like a nice one as well. A really noddy, really, really noddy bream. Such good fun on this light gear. Dino's got a really, really tiny little rod in there that we're gonna. Oh. Yeah, I'll say that's a bream, it's a pout again. Um, yeah, got a really, really light rod in there. Big pout these ones. Nice. Bream gone. Right, let's, uh, let's just assess where we are here. Right? Ah, fish are dropped now. Fish are dropped. Tried some ragworm that time. Just got, got two portions of rag, so I thought I'd try dropping that down. Another pout though. So another big pout. Gone from having bream a drop to pout a drop. Don't want that. Just flicking it up tight because it's a light weight. By the time the weight is the bottom, it's level with me and it's not already beyond the boat down there. And I'm just keeping in contact with it. It is really light gear here, it's only two ounce leads. That's it now at the bottom right in front of me here now. It'll go tight. The idea is you get a bite straight away. Thing I did, no, it's not done. Thing I was in the bottom, there's a fish straight away. There we go. There we go. Uh, double sharp pout again. Obviously, found a big, as you can see them on the sound, actually, it's a big one pout. They're just knocking it through. They're good sizes. Sizes. These ones here, top ones, lovely for live bait. Let's put that again. A bit lovely for a live bait. And this one here, there's not much good really, unless you've got cats. Which I've done. But a big pout, very big pout. That is a jumbo pouting. Sort of thing you find on a wreck, that one. Uh, I've super decided to put another rod out. I'm just getting hammered by Pout and uh, put something on the slightly bigger hook. Passed off, passed it out now. Yeah, I'll put something on the slightly, it's got a bigger circle hook on it. And I thought I'd just try and see if I can weed the Pout out because we're getting, as soon as the, there you go. As soon as the bait's through it in the bottom, we're getting bream, savage bream knocks. And then you miss it and then the Pout are straight on it afterwards. So I 
put this one on with slightly bigger hooks. I was going to put a bait out for a ray or a conga, but I just think the amount of pound down there, I think they're just smashing. There you go, that's worked straight away. There you go. Uh, that's the bigger circle hooks there, and that's picked out the bream straight away, and I've just gone about six or seven drops, just getting double shots of big pout. So I've just changed the hooks over, and straight away we've got another little male black bream. That came to the cuttle. So perhaps maybe it's just the hooks. It sounds silly, but that can make a difference sometimes. If you've got a slightly different hook that they can't get in their mouths, it can make a difference, and that's another lovely little black bream. I was, I was going to move, I was going to move, but then the tie changes at uh, 10 o'clock anyway, tie turns, and then we've got a haul anyway, and then I was going to maybe top down to another area of a uh, reef that holds slightly bigger ones, but they're not too bad a size here, so I'm okay, as long as the pout sort of hold off a little bit and we're getting a mixture of bream and pout, I'll stay here. Uh, but if we just, they're not going to smash my pout, then I'll have a, have a rethink, but that's got a bite on it straight away. Be fast furious action this one. So still like that bream fishing. I'm gonna get Dean to get his little rod up in a minute. Because it's gonna be good fun. So as soon as you put the baits down you're getting fish. Gotta so make sure you stay in contact with the bottom because I'm I'm using a little tiny legs. So it, it kites up a little bit but the rod's a bit big for what I want to do really but it bites again. If you miss a couple of bites, they just strip your bait. You gotta. There you go. Oh. Oh, well, that one's to the back. Right, this one's. Uh... Well, this, one, this, this, this one feels better, guys. It's a bass in there. It doesn't feel like a bass. It's either a double shot of something nice, but this is uh, a lot heavier rod. And it's coming out the back of the boat, so this, 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 could, be, uh, this could be something nice. It's sitting a bit deep as well. Here it comes. Ah, oh, foul look, that's why. There you are, that's why. It's coming up sideways. It's got foul look for the tail. And that though is a female. That one's foul look for the tail there. Should be fine. That's why it felt like a nice fish. It was coming up sideways. Oh, I know it's all the rigs. Think of it. We was am and about whether to re-anchor or not anyway. And uh, then I decided to knock my little Chinese tub full of rigs over the side and watched it float off down the back of the boat. Um, so we had to hold up anyway to go and catch that. So we've now just shuffled 50 metres uh, south of where we were. So we were getting a bit pouted out at times and I was getting a lot of pout and uh, I'm going to shuffle off to see if we find another little bit of nested bream. Bream sit in nests and you can be on them or off them depending where they are. They can be quite tight but just shuffled down anyway, and my other rod's got a bite on it. Let me just out a view here. I'm being a bit greedy now, and I'm fishing with two rods. Like I said earlier, I was going to put a bait down for, for Ray, but um, I've got a feeling that the pout and the bream would have smashed the baits up the bit, so. Oh, bit heavier this one, but we're going to get Dean to set up his little rod in a minute, and I'm going to film him catching the bream on his little rod, because it's going to go crazy. There you go. First fish after the move. And it's another lovely male black bream, and you can hear the kettle going off in the background because we're making a cup of tea. And that way. Oh, we found another little patch of them here. We found another little patch of them here. 
Moving just 50 metres one way or another, I can really bring them on. There's one on this one as well. Let's put them on this one, Bob. Be greedy here, fishing two rods. <laughs> hey, please made two. Life is good. There's a bite on that one, look. Oh, I'm going to be in there. 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 I'm going to be in Oh, big pout on mine. Dark one, this one, big dark pout, but you know it's got something nice on my other rod. It's one oh, that's, your, that's your pout, of course. Oh, he's lovely. That's a lovely ballon, Russ. Oh, <laughs> I was just saying to Dean that there'll be ballons down here, so I was head hooking a couple of ragworm, and he's got himself a beautiful uh, ballon. Let's get it over here, so look. Ah. I'm telling it, Dean. <laughs> There you go, Dino, step to the right side, there you go. Dino's got his little rod out. He had a lovely female bream a minute ago. Oh, mine's going now as well. Oh, guys, this is, <laughs> this is crazy fishing here today. And that's going. Oh, yeah, we're on here as well. There we go. Oh, here we got. Another little fatty. Yeah, I'll show the camera. Sorry, guys, I'll turn, my, I'll turn the camera to Dino there. Dino's going to show you his little uh, bream, another female. Don't need to see it. Feels a bit more bream -y. See the way it's knocking? Yeah, that's, that's a bream. It's going out to the side as well. Good fun. Totally different fight to our pout. Knock, 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 and that is why, and that is a lovely male bream. There you go. Look at that, lovely male black bream. There also spines, and that there is a nice, that's a lovely fish, that one, probably the biggest one of the day, actually. You know, look, cox and royal crabber, a little bit of cut on the bottom. Look at that, that is a lovely bream. Can't argue with that, can you, eh? Beautiful. There's Dino, and he's now got his tiny little rod. His tiny little thing, he uses this for bass down the beach. But he's got a double shot of tings, pow tins, look, look, that's all we're doing. Slightly different rigs for Dino, he's got some beads on there. Uh, but they are lovely live bait size pout though, we'll keep those two, Dean. Well, if I get rid of that top one, we'll keep the bottom one. There we go. Keep bouncing. Another bream, it's bream number 15 for the day, and it's another good size one, that's bigger than the last one. They're getting bigger. That decision to move, that's even though we were forced to, because I lost my rigs. <laughs> decision to move has paid off, and that's another lovely bream. A bream. Another one for Dean, I'll put my one on as well. If you get a separate bucket for yours, any one you want to keep. Get a separate bucket. And that way I'm gonna right with it. Let's get this one down. Cool, this. Yeah, the key, yeah, yeah, anyway, I've, I've got my two in there that I'm keeping because they're quite nice sizes. Yeah. This is this is a uh, non-stop action here now, Dino. This is non-stop action this. Going crazy here, look, that's going, and this one's going, and miss that one. Ah oh, so they're on that one over here. Oh, this is absolutely chaos here, guys. We are on the bream today, on the bream. Right, base is at the bottom. I'm going to show you how quick this is. I've got bites already. I've got one on my other rod, but I'm going to try and show you here. There you go. Fish on. That's a bream. That's a bream. The bream are hitting this as soon as it hits the bottom. And when they're missing it, the pout are getting it. So, we're a bit quicker. This will be a bream. You can tell, but after a while, you just learn the difference. That's a little female. Oh no, no, I lie, it's a little male. It's a little tiny male, and that's, like I said, little cox and rule 2 0 crab hook. That's a bit of cuttle there, nice tough bait, followed by a ragworm, head hook in the rag. And then that is just absolutely getting there. Look at that, beautiful. Lovely. And that bait's good to go again. 
So I'll do it on camera this time. I've got, I've got another one over here. That is going crazy over here. I'm just going to leave it just to show you this. When you find them, it's so thick and fast. If you're not getting bites, it's because your bait's probably been stripped. But that's still peeling line off. Look, you can see that. There you go. That's just at the bottom now. Bail arm's on. I'm going to tighten the bite straight away. Oh, missed it. That's in, the bites are instant as soon as it is the bottom. And that one's going right over there. I'm going to have to give that some attention in a minute. But the purpose about using cuttle and rag is the cuttle's got some longevity to it. It's nice and strong. Oh, he's come off. The bites there, you, see, you can see what I'm trying to show you. The bites are instant. Yeah, the cuttle's got the, the strength to stay there and the ragworm is the attractor. So it's such a killer bait. But not, as I was saying to now, my bait's probably been stripped here now. But they are there. I'm going to deal with this other one now because that's going crazy. And as soon as I stop this one and let go of this rod, that one's going to go, you know it. So let's pick this rod up. Come over to it. And that one, as I said to you, that one's going now as well. And the baits are going to be gone from this. They're voracious. The rod just arched over there. I was baiting up the other rod, as you can see, hanging over there. And Dino's, oh, Dino's got a nice one over there. And this is going to be another bream. And that's another nice male. That is another big bream. They're getting bigger, and I'm tangled up on the other line here now. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Look at that. That is a beautiful specimen of a bream. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. There you go. That's the bait. So I've got, I'm trying out different, just head hook rag. So a bunch of ragworms. That's going to flutter in the tide. And then on another hook, the hook point's masked a bit there. Don't do that. But on the other one, I'm doing a bit of cut on a bit of rag just to try and create a bit of movement in there. And that's what the bream are liking. And I'm Oh, we're just anchored, re-anchored now. Tide's changing. We have to re-anchor again because it's sort of slack water, but I wanted to get us on the reef. Off camera, we both just banged out two little small female bream. And Dean has now got another female bream. That's three straight on the back there. Look at that. Over to the camera, Dean, for us. Yeah, that's bream number 28. Going again? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, good fun though, eh? Then you got one? Well, they're all nice fights, aren't they? That's a bream. Yeah, That's a bream. A bream. Yeah, yeah. That's a bream. Bream? Yep. Yeah. Female breaks. So look, I came around the head. Nice. Nice. 30. Oh, God, I'm still letting the line off. Is there any male ones you can pay for? Uh, better put the females back. Yeah. Pout again. Other rods going. Oh, that's come off, whatever that is. Bait's gone on top hook. Chaos. Oh, lost one of mine. All right. There we go. Nice female. <laughs> Biggest female of the day, that one, I reckon. Yeah, I've well, heard. I think nice, she's, she's all um, a bit of a swollen belly. Yeah, not, yeah that's it, the pregnancy. Yeah. See, see, it's just, um, I think I was just saying there, they've got a bit of a soft, swollen belly. They're the females. We're going to put them back. We're not keeping any males to that. Uh, not keeping any females. We're going to put that back. There to go. Another one. Another female. Find the females now. Manic! It's manic here. Oh, we are going. Yeah. I think I think she's got a nice one on. I got one on here. That's another bream one here. One more to chalk up on the camera, on the ticker. Then I've got a nice one, nice male. That's another one here as well. Look, we are back on these bream guys. Look at that, another lovely male. Wow, double action here. We're flying here. Crazy, crazy action. That's another, hang on, that's another three or four to put on there. Yeah. 
I just had one. I had two there. Yeah, two, you had one before, didn't you? Two before, yeah. Yeah, so it's 36. Ain't even 10 o'clock. Okay, you're live. There you go. We're back live again, guys. Here we go, Dino. We just re anchored Dino with a double shot of male bream by the looks of it. Double shot of male black bream. Nice one, Dino. And I'm going to put the camera down. Here we go. I look like an idiot because I'm YouTubing at the same time. I apologise. If... Well, if you watched the live a minute ago, it should upload. I'm a, I'm a little bit out of range. But if you watch the... Uh... If you watch the YouTube live, we've just had an absolutely manic 10-15 minutes and we had a dozen 15 bream, maybe more, probably more to be fair, and it was non-stop, we've had to take stock now and just stop for a second and just see what's going on, because it was absolutely manic, absolutely manic, we're on 65 bream now, and we just, say so we just stopped, just to, just to get a breather, I'm trying a different camera angle, so let's have a look. Yeah, I'm trying a different angle. Oh, we have to bite straight away, look. Yeah. And we're fish on. There we go, that's another bream. Straight back in it. Straight back on it. We're going to go for under a bream today. We're going to go for the treble. Got a bite on this one as well. There we go, another one. Another bream on there, look. Well, this is absolutely crazy. Another little female, this one. Let's get her on hooks and I'll show you. Oh, absolutely crazy. There you go. She's going back. <laughs> it's a fine line here between <laughs> trying to catch them and holding onto their spines. There you go, she's gone back. This will go back down, I and mean, then I'll deal with this rod here, which has probably got something on it as well. That's another bream for the tally. Got a little one of these little clicker counters, like three quid off eBay. And if, like me, you like knowing what you caught at the end of the day, or someone turns around and says, oh, you didn't catch that many. <laughs> Dino's in here, out of shot, Dino's in as well. Yeah, those clickers, you can't hide from it. And Dino's got a fish on. Oh, I'll drop this one down again. Oh, it's just picked up a little bit now. There you go, we reset. Oh, that's gone again, that's gone again. That's straight away, that is in. Straight away, we're on a manic. Oh, no, I've panicked a little bit there. Dino, what you got? That's just a good, um... Another little brain for Dean. Camera's yeah. up there, mate. Oh, sorry, there it is. There she is. Oh, it's a boy, sorry. Another one for the clicker. Yeah, going back to the clicker. No arguments then. We've got bites on here again, look, there you go. Got on everyone else. I just did a YouTube live and I, it was the craziest 10 minutes fishing you'll see for a long time. Or 20 minutes maybe. We lost a bass as well on, on you on, while I was alive on there. Man, picked out a bait and just ran real with screaming. God, that was it. Yeah, it was whatever it was. I think it was a bass. It was well gone, well gone. That one, I'm a little tiny bream on this one, I think. I was rocking out the tide. The tide's really picked up now, we had to up our weights to a three. <laughs> Crazy fishing, this is another bream. See it coming up in the tide there, back of the boat. Out there. Another female. Three ounce of that, this little green one. Another one. Everyone's favourite number, 69. And that'll go straight back down. And while that's going down, I'm going to bring this one in. That's the bottom. Keep an eye on it for me because that will go quick, that will. That's a bite straight away. That'll go up there. Yeah, tide's just picking up a little bit now, so I'm just a bit more conscious of what we're doing. 
I say that hopefully the YouTube live goes, it goes up and uploads. But that will be some of the most manic fishing you'll see for a while out there. That was absolutely crazy. There we go. At one point, I think we had five fish on the deck, and that's a bite on that rod there out of view. There you go, so that one's back in the holder. Keep an eye on it for me. And here we go. Bring this one back to the back of the boat. Typical, you pick it up and then you lose it. Back in. There we go, fish on. That's going to be another bream, this one. We've got a bite of this other rod as well, starting to show itself. It's going to be another bream. This is another little female. There we go, another one. That brings up number 70. I'm going to just reset for a second. I'll come back to you in a minute. Here's number 70. Happy days. 72 bream. And this will be another one. There you go. There's 72 bream. This will be 73 or 74, I think there's only one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, another bream. And there we go. Number 74. Creeping up to that hundred. Tide, tide's making it a bit harder now because it is it is running a bit harder. 74. Um yeah, the tide is running a bit harder now, but um, we're still producing the fish are there. They're in blankets down the bottom. It really is. We really have it coming up aces today. We really have hit it. So, yeah, I'll take time to show you the rigs quick. So this is all I'm using. It's just a oh, a two hook dropper. There is a, I'll, t I'll take a link in here how to make a dropper. Um, and there two o cox and wool crab hooks. And on the other rod, I've got rod. I've got a twisted boom, two hook dropper, but with a twisted boom. Uh, made out of the mono, and then they've got a little circle look on, a little two O's. Dean, you got the bottom of the left one. Yeah. Uh, Dean's got another one over here. It is absolutely crazy here today. Not known fishing like this for a long time. It is ridiculous. Um, then, like I said, it's either head hook ragworm, and they last about one fish, and then they're gone. So I bought, I've got three lots of rag here, but it's going to be gone shortly, and we'll be out of bait. We'll be using mackerel and cutting cutter leads up and, and all sorts, but. It don't seem to matter what they want, what they're, uh, what they want today. They take anything, so they're just here and they're here in numbers. So we are rocking and rolling. So yeah, we'll get back to it. But it's been probably one of the best days fishing we'll have for a long, long time. Thanks for joining. Bream for the tally. Dino's got something on as well. And I'm making a right mess down here on my ragworm. That tide's probably picked up now, so I, think I might get down to one rod. There we go. Oh, Dino's got another one. Show us the camera, Dean. Got on my head, look. That's a nice male. There you are. If you turn your sideways, Dean. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the difference between a male and a female. See the colours on the head if Dean just moves his little finger out of the way there. See the colours slightly different. Female, male. Boom. Look a nice one, this one. Well, it is, guys. The tide's just picked up enough now. You can see it running at the back of the boat there. The tide's picked up, and the little two, three ounce weights are starting to kite up. So, what you've got to do is cast it up tide of the boat. And then as you feel the weight start to kite up, it's a double shot, that's why. See it coming through the water there, look, double shot. 
as they uh, as you feel the weight start to cart up, you got to let the bail arm off. There we go. Yeah, you got to let the bail arm off, and as the weight goes slack and the baits hit the bottom again, that's when they're picking the picking the baits up. That's a pair of little males there again. That might be a female that one actually. Yes, yeah, so oh, no, a little male on the colours on the head. Their mouths are, eh? look at their mouths, set of teeth in there, look. Yeah, I was letting the bail arm off, a little bit of slack line. There they are, and there it is. Look how crystal clear that water is. Oh, that's another good one. Look at that. Sun's on my back here, look, and that is a really, really hard fighting fish. Yeah, a lovely one. It's gonna be a lovely fish, this. I might even go live on Instagram in a minute. We're on number 99 guys, need one more bream for 100, one more bream for number 100, and it's just got, we didn't quite do it for lunch, it slowed down a little bit, but that ain't bad going, we've used up nearly all our bait, we've got some mackerel, there's a bite, and this will be number 100, there we go, stay tuned for number 100 hopefully, if it stays on, it's a bream, Team Sky uses breaking, they've got wind yeah. of our hundred fish. <laughs> and after this, we're going to put the kettle on, wash the boat down, and then maybe go and do something else. And it is a bream. This will be number 100 if I can get it in. And that there is bream number 100 for the day. And it's probably not in about quarter past 12 now. I've done all my phone battery going live on YouTube and Instagram and the rest of it. And that there, going to end on a lovely mail. Absolutely, red letter day fishing on his bream today. They turned up and they turned up in numbers. He's going to go back. We're going to take stock here, wash the boat down, make a cup of tea. And then we might go and drift with some bait somewhere for a ray. A friend of mine down the road has had a turbot. Um, so he's in a kayak, but he's had a turbot. So I might, I've got the urge now. Someone's mentioned the word turbot, so I've got the edge. Um, a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable day's fishing so far. So, um, yeah, we're going to get sorted out here, reset ourselves, and we'll go again. But what a day so far. Hey, welcome back. Um, 101 bream we finished with. We didn't, we didn't quite get 100 bream before 12 o'clock. But it weren't bad fishing, was it, eh? 100, 100 plus bream. Quarter past 12 we stopped. We started at half past, half past six. And by quarter past 12, we'd had 101 bream. And we just, we moved off of them. We could stay there all day and we'd make that two, 250, I reckon. Um, but we've dropped inside now. We've had a little tidy up of the boat. We've got all the ragworm bits off. And we're now just gonna drag some baits around for place, just off Brighton, off the old West Pier and the uh, British Airways Tower. Um, I've got a mackerel bait down and I've got some, uh, oh, I've got the bream rig down at the minute, but I will put a place boom on. And we're just trying to basically have another hour or so in here. And then we might have an early day because we are, we are fished out already. I'm joking, I've never fished out. No, we're just gonna try in here for a bit. If we get anything to hit a note, I'll let you know. But all in all, good day so far. There you go, Dino's on. Uh, have a look over so you can see what oh, it is. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got a nice little spot, eh? There you go, that's what we come for here. There you go. And a nice little spotty for Dino. A bit small that one for dinner, but it's a spotty nonetheless, there you are. That's what we come in here for. Nice one, Dean. Oh, yeah. Plan was to go and catch bream today. First drop. I hadn't even put the anchor in yet. We were just marking the drift. And as usual, we have, we have a fish where you're marking it, where you drift. Well, the boat's drifting and you're getting your anchor line. We have a drift. And we had bream straight away. So that was it. The target chief, first drop, really. And then from there onwards, it was just, it was chaos. I mean, I hope the YouTube Live has worked and it goes up, it goes up later. My battery's about to die. 
Um, but I did about 20, 25 minutes of a YouTube live. And as well as this video, have a watch of it because it is, I didn't have this camera going, I had the phone going. And it was absolutely carnage. Carnage, we had so many bream. Um, but 101 bream we ended with, started fishing at half six. And we finished by quarter past 12 on the bream mark. And I might have a little inquiry on this one now as well. Um, yeah, started finishing at quarter past six, so I don't know what that works out an hour as, as, as a bream, each bream, but um, it was really good fishing and certainly haven't had fishing like that for a while. We've been out a few times and we haven't um, caught that one. Eh? Um, yeah, we haven't, we haven't caught much, so I haven't made a video of it, but it's been tough fishing now, but summer's coming. Yeah, summer's coming and the spring species are here, so... Uh, all good. So thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe and I hope you've enjoyed today. And uh, obviously Dean's been with me today. Dean's had some nice bream as well. And uh, we'll catch you in our next video, whatever that may be.